teachers and state department, state uh, education department officials from the elementary school division were also there. So I began my remarks by noting that there were two audiences. There were the 350 fourth graders and there were all the adults. And I said, for the teachers and the state department officials who are present, we have some rules. When you want to speak, raise your hand. And if you interrupt each other, you have to go and stand in the corner. And if you really get to be too much of a problem, I'll have to send you to the principal and out of the room. The kids loved it. The teachers were not sure if I lost my mind. The kids loved it. And I want to tell you something. I have never spoken to an audience more respectful and attentive than the 350 fourth graders all of whom had shirts of different colors representing the school they came from. If I could have had the rapt attention of my Auburn undergraduates for 28 years, as fully as I had the attention of the 350 fourth graders, I would have been a happy man. Although one teacher reminded me that the fourth graders were not allowed to have cell phones And this, this time the discovery was unusual in that it was so sudden. I remember uh, clicking on your television set or your radio on the 28th of August as Katrina approached New Orleans. But if you did, you, you may remember, especially if you a series of announcements on TV and radio that seemed to pass to those who have studied this fact. Everyone is evacuating the world. Why will they evacuate the world? Because they don't have the Because they have no money for the Since they can't pay the ticket, they're going to be out of here. 
not only that, but this is something you know, the highest poverty rates in the United States. Just to show you how persistent it is, in the mid-1990s, when Americans were in a great debate on 